So I'm back again with a really quick tutorial on how to use make.com to be able to generate a webhook, put it into a, a third party application and utilize that to be able to send data from one application to another. So I went ahead and took the liberty of going ahead and creating the webhook. I've already uh, determined the data structure, but I'm going to redo it anyway, just so you can be able to see. So um, I'm going to go to GoZen, which is the application I'm using that I want to pull data from from a form uh, to be able to send somewhere. So what you would do is you would hit, hit, go here to Custom Webhook. You would hit Connect. Um, if you're using those in, you may have a different type of application you want to actually use to be able to do this, but this is the particular one I want to be able to use. So what you would do is go and get the webhook itself and copy it. Let's see if we want to copy this and copy address. And we're going to paste it. I've already put it in there before. So I'm just going to hit create and all the magic is going to happen here i've already done it but if you haven't what would happen is when you create that initial webhook it's going to sit there and listen until you submit a form and um the form once you submit the form or your application submits this information it's going to go and hit that endpoint here and then it's going to uh, listen for those parameters and at that point know what the structure is, but I already got it So I'm not going to go through that point So the next thing I want to do is actually send this to another source So my source is going to be Flowloo, which is a CRM um, That I use to be able to keep track of things and I want to be able to take that data and put that into a task So now I'm going to click and add another module and that module I'm going to use is Flowloo, which I've already used before. You can send it to any kind of application that you see fit. You can search for several different kinds um, that you can actually use. But again, I'm using Flowloo. And I'm going to create a task. Here we go. So I want to create a task. And basically, I already have my connection already set up. And if you notice here, these this these were the parameters that I was getting from the other application um, to be able to send in. So this is my first question, um, which is the uh, what is your task? And I'm going to use it as the name of the task and my priority, which would determine here. Let's see. Where are we at? Do we have priority here? Do we have priority? Ah, oh, here we go. So priority, I would actually put a task priority here, which will come from the form. And all the other information like the password protected description, I'm going to put that inside of the description of the actual um, task. And the reason why I'm doing that is because there's no field that I created for that form, a custom field for it, which is fine. But I just want to um, go ahead and just put it in the description um, here. So I'm going to put the power. And I'm going to put the description here. And then the rest of it I'm going to add, which were custom fields. And I don't say I want to do some other hacking in here to be able to do that. But uh, I'm going to stop right there. This is pretty much all you would need to do to be able to create a nice flow within uh, Make. You can be able to do other more advanced things by adding other modules, or you can be able to do any kind of um, um, filtering of information, um, other formulas or whatnot with this application. Um, but it's worked out great for different types of integration. So if you have any questions about either Gozen Forms, uh, Make.com, Flowloo, any other type of integration that you may need to be able to make your systems work, make those automations go, uh, don't forget to make a comment or just reach out to me directly. I'll be glad to help you.